This video is about Pelican Preserve. Let me let you know what I'm going to show you because it's a long video. Um, I will start with talking about Fort Myers in general and then Tree Line. This particular avenue is called Tree Line that I'm driving on right now that you can see. And um, in addition, I'll talk about uh, Pelican Preserve, of course, which is what mainly this videos about Pelican Preserve is a 55 plus community in Fort Myers. Um, I will drive around the community and let you see the community, describe what is being shown um, while riding around in the car, and then I'll also walk in certain areas of the community so you can see it in a little bit more detail. It will include the amenities of the, the community. This, I'm starting out by showing Tree Line Avenue because it shows the area close to Pelican Preserve. It's an upscale, more upscale area of Fort Myers compared to some other older areas of Fort Myers. It's upscale and also newer. These are newer com communities that are gated, so the homes are, are pretty nice. Uh, they, uh, one of the communities on this Tree Line Avenue is called Plantation Somerset, and the homes are in the million dollar range. Um, millions and then um, there's smaller areas and uh, homes their apartments to the right you can see there's some apartments there um, they're considered luxury apartments um, a lot of these communities are built new since the Pelican Preserve community was built the Pelican Preserve community was built in the time frame of 20 years from 2020, 2001 to 2020. So approximately 20 years it took to build out the whole community. The whole community now has about 2,500 homes. And these homes range from condos to single family homes. Uh, I like Florida in general because of the weather and Fort Myers is known to be a city that has nice weather that a lot of the snowbirds come to. And when I say snowbirds, I mean people who live um, in the north and come down to the south for a few months to reprieve, get a reprieve from the cold, harsh weather during the winter time, and then they go back up to their homes. So they're down in Florida, Southwest Florida in this case, on a temporary basis, just for a few months. Um, and you can see down here a big shift in the population of people in stores and on the street, driving and at venues um, when people are moving from, you know, when we're going into the winter season, which is about in the October range, and they'll be here usually till about maybe April. So let me describe a little bit more about um, Tree Line. Uh, <clears throat> Tree Line has, is, runs from north to south um, and is located east of I-75. Um, it runs from Colonial Boulevard to Alico Road. Alico Road has a lot of new commercial um, buildings being um, built there. Um, but on Tree Line, you can see uh, there's a lot of the um, gated communities. Pelican Preserve is one of them. There's also a gated community called the Plantation Somerset. There's Marina Bay, which has homes um, from on the smaller side to as much as 4,000 4, square feet, which is a large home. Another gated community called Bridgetown. Another gated community called Botanica Lakes. Uh, they have the luxury apartments, which I already said. And um, the Plantation Country Club with million dollar homes. Fort Myers is known um, as the city of palms. As I drive around, I may make note of the palms several times because I love palm trees. Um, the population of Fort Myers in 2020, year 2020, it was 86,000. With the influx of people coming in, I see building all around Fort Myers. Um, with all of those 
those people coming in, I would venture to say that we have at least 100,000 population of people in the Fort Myers area now, or in Fort Myers. Fort Myers is known for spring training, for the Boston Red Sox, as well as for the Minnesota Twins. They have their annual training in Fort Myers, <coughs> which brings spectators <coughs> um, every year for that. Um, there's a lot of Canadians are, who are here during uh, the winter season. Now I'm getting ready to enter Pelican Preserve community. When you're a resident here, you can have a sticker for your car so you can automatically enter through these gates on the right. On the left is an entrance for visitors that do not have a sticker for their car. Visitors will need to show their ID, like a driver's license, in order to enter. This community has sidewalks. Not all communities have sidewalks. Uh, so this is a walking friendly community in that regard. It is safe to walk, um, safer to walk with the sidewalks and the speed limit ranges from, I would say about 25 to 35 miles per hour. This community is for people who are 55 and older. It spans approximately 1,100 acres of land with 2,500 homes. The homes vary in home style from the classic single family homes to those with, excuse me, with those that are built as duplexes as well as those that are carriage homes or condos. So there's four different styles and you'll see that later uh, as I drive around the community. I'll point that out in more detail. The price of the homes vary from the condos being in, in the 275 to 300,000 range um, to the single family homes with uh, pools, etc., in the 900,000 range. This community has a lot of amenities. I'm driving up here, you can see I'm driving up to the golf course. The golf course and the golf the country club are, own, are owned separately. The owner is Heritage Golf Group, which has several golf courses in the United States. This is the entrance to the golf uh, to the country club. I will be going in a little later. I'm first starting out by doing a drive through the community. Then I'll come back and walk into the golf uh, the country club and show you around that way. There will be a coordinator that will be assisting in showing me around and pointing out things, and you'll see that uh, in the video. The golf course was not busy when I was there, as most things. Um, the temperature was about 95, maybe 93 degrees, so you didn't see too many people out. It's really hot, and I was doing this at midday. You can see there's a gentleman out there practicing his golf it looks like and he's alone and I don't see anybody else on the golf course the entire time I was driving around so for those of you who like to have peace and quiet and have your space from other people during the summer months this place is pretty quiet so if you like to be alone this is a time to enjoy, or if you have your own village of people, um, you know, whether it's relatives or friends that you all can enjoy um, and have more access uh, without intrusion from others, such as the pool, the courts, etc., the course as well. Um, this is the time to do that. Uh, during the winter months, it's much more crowded. Not to say that it's really crowded, but, it, you know, you can definitely see a change in the population. Um, much more people walking around, driving their golf carts, driving their cars, um, and being in the social areas. 
even as I am walking in the community, you can see there weren't that many people in the area. Here I'm going to go to the town center, drive into the town center area next. Um, to the right, you see a water feature. Um, there are many water features. I think there's about 50 ponds in this community. So a lot of the homes have water views. The town center is made up of a community center, which will pass on the right first. And then as I drive further in, you'll see there's another area building that has studios and restaurants and is where the indoor pool is located. Um, above the indoor pool, there's a walking track and um, I'll show you inside later where you can see the indoor pool, the sauna, the steam room, etc. But at first, I'm just going to drive around the community for you to see a view of everything um, this way first. So that's the community center building I'm talking about. And then further up to the right is the town center. Another water feature, a lot of golf carts. To the right, you can see tennis courts and a covered area for people to sit and congregate and rest and replenish. There's water fountains and ice maker machines so people can um, rehydrate as they're playing tennis or pickleball. These are tennis courts. The tennis courts are green um, and are larger. The pickleball courts are green and blue and they are about half the size of tennis courts and they're further in the back. As I'm driving back, you'll see a glimpse of them as I'm driving and then uh, later in the video, I will actually get out the car and walk around so you can see the pickleball courts and other amenities. I did even see a um, also a, a dog park, a little area for people to bring their dogs. It's a gated area as well um, so that the dogs can play with each other and the owners can sit and watch and relax as their dogs are having a good time in an area that's uh, away from the pedestrians and people in the community more covered areas for people to sit. This is again the tennis courts. I did play pickleball here once. I did not play tennis, but the pickleball was enjoyable and we did, um, you know, talk under the covered areas and it was nice. The people seem friendly. There's a walking trail close by to the right, I believe. A lot of golf carts. people who like to be active they certainly have a lot of activities for people to do here both physically or if you just want to do something to stretch your brain by playing cards or doing something less intensive like playing pool uh, billiards they have all those activities bossy ball They have things that don't require much activity at all. Just sit and watch like movies. They have a movie theater indoors and then they also have an amphitheater outdoor. Okay, driving out of the town center, it looks like. There is one main street in that entire community. It's called Pelican Reserve. When you go through the front gates, you go down that street, 
Pelican Preserve goes straight, 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 straight down a couple miles. I don't know how many miles. Then you get into the uh, area of uh, condos, and um, and then and that's how I'll take this drive is to go to the condo area and then come back to the country club and to the town center and show you these areas on foot. So this is Pelican Preserve Boulevard, which connects to all the different communities, all the different subdivisions in the community. Golf course to the left. Water feature to the right. Lots of home with lake views or water views. Lots of palm trees. Very, very neat community. Clean and the landscaping is pretty. This community I heard and read uh, has received medals for their nature preserve. Um, the Audubon Society gave them some type of medal because of the way they incorporated nature so much into their uh, lifestyle, into their community. Um, it's really, really pretty to see how they have the nature trails you can walk on or just even walking in the community that you have the opportunity to walk in your community on a sidewalk and see so much of nature. You'll be able to see, you know, the palm trees, of course, the water, but also there are uh, wildlife in here. Um, I did see a iguana and um, some ducks and a pelican. <laughs> uniformity in the building although all the houses are not the same but you can see that the roofs are Spanish style tile roofs which are very pretty and popular for upscale homes in Florida particularly in South Florida um, they tend to last a long time and uh, just really look prettier than the standard roofs Okay, now we are all the way back in the community, the end of Pelican Preserve, and this is where the condos are. I believe this particular subdivision is called Palazzo, uh, where the condominiums are, and they have their own area, um, pool area as well. The condos have covered parking as opposed to garages, and each condo building is four stories high, and they have balconies. This is the pool area to the right. It is gated with a code because it's to be used, as it says, for residents and their guests only. Residents meaning residents of this subdivision, Palazzo. So there'll be a code that you can put in, the combination to enter. I will be walking into a different area with a pool so you can kind of see what that looks like. There's a sign parking for the residents and there's parking for guests as well.
I believe the condos are two to three bedrooms. There is an elevator in the building. The views from the condos are either preserved views or water views. The interior of the condos are very modern. Um, these condos were built by Lennar builders. And Palazzo was just finished uh, in 2020. The condos do not have garages, but the other three style homes have garages. The other three styles are duplexes, carriage homes, and single family homes. The single family homes have two to three car garages. These are carriage homes. They're four homes connected. And they, each unit actually has their own elevator, believe it or not. And um, the elevator obviously is good for people who are physically handicapped, but it's also good for people who uh, need to carry heavy or bulky or big objects up the stairs. Instead of doing that, they can just take the elevator to their second floor and, um, you know, not have to worry about the weight of the goods or you know having some accident trying to take these things upstairs i think the carriage homes um, may just be out of the the four connected two of them are upstairs with elevators and then there's the the bottom carriage home that does not have an elevator i think that might be the case you can check if you're that so interested Palm trees, love them, love them. What a feature. Beautiful home. You see how well these lawns are landscaped and manicured? Each home has a different type of landscaping. They don't all look the same, but they are all well maintained. There's another water feature. There's about 50 palm, um, ponds or lakes, man-made lakes in this uh, community. And all the subdivisions are off the main road preserve, a Pelican Preserve Boulevard. Look at all these water views. And I, as I said, not all communities have sidewalks. So this is a really nice that they have sidewalks, which is much more safe for pedestrians. Sometimes, you know, as people get older, they don't move as well, see as well. And then if they have a drink or something, <laughs> their driving could be even more inconsistent. You don't want to be walking on the street with, you know, people driving like that. It's just not safe for anyone. So, you know, I'm glad that they have a sidewalk. Um, they saw the need or the benefit of having that. Um, I've seen communities that were nice communities and even newer, but they didn't have a sidewalk. Um, you know, forcing people to have to walk uh, in the street, which is not good, not safe. 
they these subdivisions have roundabouts so you go you're driving on pelican preserve you make a right or left to go into a community you go down the street of the community you make a u-turn at the cul-de-sac and you're back going out of that subdivision and back to pelican preserve so it's, it's easy to figure out how to get around in this community you don't really have to get lost once you come in a few times it's easy to get where you have to go I'm glad I did this taping during the off season so that I can drive with my camera rolling and do it safely It would have been much harder if I was doing it in season when there's so much more residents present. This is a very quiet time, as you can see. You see, okay, this is Milano subdivision, and you see the two garages, one right next to the other. Those are two car garages, and these are called duplexes because there's two homes attached, and uh, these are less expensive than the single family homes. quiet and nice landscaping, pretty neighborhoods, palm trees, I love them. In the city of palms, Fort Myers is called the city of palms. for showing the sky so much. Remember, I'm driving and videotaping. So there's some times where it was angled a little bit too high. But then I did bring it down. Okay. On Pelican Preserve again. Boulevard going over the little bridge. Oh, look at those pretty palm trees. There's the water feature for which the bridge is over. All man-made water ponds, I believe, the lakes. As far as the wildlife, um, someone did tell me that he saw an alligator on the golf course. Now, I know that a lot of people, um, like those people who live in California that say, you know, the reason why they wouldn't live in Florida is because of the alligator, um, as they justify why they're living in the area where there's earthquakes. But anyway, that's another subject. Um, I have lived in Florida for over 30 years and um, I really haven't experienced much in the way of alligators. I don't know if I've ever really seen one out and about, but I know that they're out there. I just haven't seen it. I stay away from those areas, I guess, much, you know, or not around them that much. But um, it is a thing, um, but apparently, uh, you know, it's not been much of a trouble when it comes to personal safety or you know, people getting attacked by um, alligators. It's just not the case. If you leave them alone, you keep your distance, you, you're aware that these things can happen. I, snakes, though, you know, black snakes, that's more common. I do see that 
um, I've seen um, what they call garden snakes in the community. Um, so I would think that this community with all these ponds have those two wildlife animals um, in addition to ducks and pelicans and bunny rabbits, um, possums, and other things that's common in South Florida. Pelican Preserve Boulevard. Hang in there if you want to see the town center and the country club by foot. Pretty landscaping, ah, well, the flowers and such were pretty. This area has what I would call blighted lawns. I'm sure that the community uh, maintenance people will work on that because this community in general, their lawns are so pretty. But in this particular subdivision, it seems like there's something going on because you can see several of the lawns are um, you see that area there? Yeah, not green. So something needs to be treated or resawed and treated. Treated and resawed. But in general, most subdivisions don't look like this. But even with that, it's still a pretty community. look different they don't all look the same which is nice a lot of variety especially in the landscaping you can see different landscaping and if the houses may have a similar style to the house the landscaping all looks different which makes the appearance of the community more interesting. Oh, I just noticed this particular subdivision doesn't have sidewalks. But once you get on Pelican Preserve, you have the sidewalk. Pelican Preserve Boulevard. Oh, this one has sidewalk. Take that back as I see the sidewalk on the right. Might be making a left or a right. Left or a right. Reserve Boulevard going to
a lot of the single family homes have screened um, pool, uh, screened enclosed pools. Oh, I love the style of that house. Yes, yes. Palm trees. Love it, love it. Pretty homes, pretty landscaping. The driveways are even paved. Nice circular area in the front of that house on the right. Beautiful community. Yes, pretty decorative paved driveways in this community here, in this subdivision. Unique landscaping, all well maintained. You see, this home has three, it looks like three car garage. The one on the left is for the golf carts, the one on the right is for two cars. The three car garage, you would say. They're not all like that. This one is one on the left, two on the right, same home. Car garage, one car, okay. So I assume these are the larger, more expensive homes, I assume. Just did a little close up of the roof so you could see what I was talking about, how neat they look, and the consistency of the Spanish tile roofs in this community. <clears throat> Makes the community look more cohesive and neat to have all Spanish tile roofs, although they are different colors and the homes are different. community is a 55 plus community with 2,500 homes approximately in this community. Lots of residents on a, over a thousand acres of land in this community. single family homes.
sorry for the length of this video but for those of you who are interested in pur purchasing a home or renting in this community this is a, a good way for you to be able to see a lot uh, without having to be physically present yourself if you're out of out of town C-A, Casella, okay. In the Casella subdivision, there's carriage homes, which are the homes that have um, a stairs, there's, uh, where you can, like townhomes, um, but it also has a elevator in the home as well, so you could take your own elevator to get upstairs. You don't have to walk the stairs yourself if that's needed. And Casella also has their own pool. I believe I'm going to get out here and show you the pool. So there is a combination that you enter so you can get through this gate. And beyond the gate is an area where you can barbecue, you can rest under umbrella and relax, or you can get in the pool. Here's the pool, it's very clean and refreshing. Um, I believe they heat the pool to 80 degrees, I believe, or so. Um, I think there was only one person here when I got here. Um, for her privacy, I didn't show her. There's water fountain, there's men and bath women's bathroom, and there's a cooking area. And the mailboxes you see are to the left. Uh, it's a central area for mailboxes for this area. Okay, that's a picture of a duplex. And that's just a water feature in the community. Another water feature. I love the water features. And wildlife. Look at that. That's real. That's not a fake. And I guess that's a pelican. What do you think? <laughs> All right. Now we're going to go to the clubhouse again. And I'm going to get out the car and show you the inside. This is the pro shop. I didn't buy anything in here because it was too expensive. I'd rather go to Bells or Marshalls to get my athletic wear. But, you know, it's nice to have this if you're in a crunch. I think the clothes was like $110 for a shirt or a skirt. Much too high. I didn't see anything that special about it for it to cost that much. But, you know, in a crunch, I would buy it if I needed it. People be here when it's so hot outside, but they're doing something else. <laughs> People love this fitness center. It's, it's nice. Very it's very crowded. Nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Work out. Feel like it's their own gym. Mm -hmm. These are the boards for our men's and ladies' leagues. Wow. Then we have a couple of restaurants. This highlight all of the clubs that are owned by our company all of the country. This is our downstairs restaurant called Cafe. Yes, I've heard about it. Hello, ladies. Hello. Where's the internet? Checking us out. Hi. Hello, hello. What are your hours? Today we close at 6. Okay. So it's from 10.30 to 6. 10.30 to 6. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. We've got a regressing project that's going yeah. on here. Yeah, I heard. Yes. We're also, we're going 
regrassing this IVIS course. Mm -hmm. So we've already regrassed two of our uh, three nine-hole courses. Mm -hmm. So this one will finish up this summer. It will open up in the fall. Okay. We'll have 27 holes of brand new grass for everybody to play on. Yes, I was hearing about that. And well, it's really never Oh, wow. So we have bar. Mm -hmm. Room, but we don't have any uh, dinner service on Mondays. Oh. So the ladies are using it to play Mahjong. Uh -huh. A lot of times you'll see people playing bridge in here. There's a private dining room in the back. Okay. And then these stores along this wall open up into a large banquet room. Nice. And this morning the banquet room was used for um, dinner service. Mm -hmm. So we have a yoga. We had I did see women coming in here today the earlier. I said, oh, you yeah, must have a yoga do, class. They do yoga and then they do chair yoga. Okay. So let's see. They're all glad with it. Now, yes. uh, Okay, that was the tour of the clubhouse. We're gonna drive out and go to, I believe, the town center next, so I can get out and show you around in the town center area. Brook Center is the community center adjacent or part of the town center, which is available to all the residents in Pelican Preserve. The clubhouse is not available to all the residents of Pelican Preserve. You have to pay an extra fee to use the clubhouse and its amenities. It's a private country club and golf club. The town center is part of the social fabric of uh, the amenities that comes to you as a resident of this community. The town center is where people socialize, they come for coffee or drinks or to have a meal or to play cards, tennis, um, ball state ball, pickleball. Mm, I said cards already, I believe. Uh, but just to hang out and socialize. Here inside the community center, you see the poker room slash, and this one says the card room, and another card room. They even had a music room. Yeah, I saw a, a young a, a man playing music. Yeah, playing his uh, the piano. I thought that was nice. You don't have a piano. You may not have space for one in your home, but there's one that you can use on the property. And here are schedules of events. They have a monthly schedule, and then they have something else announcing the upcoming events. So, you know, there's lots of things to do. Um, more in the season than off season, but even during off season, there's something to do. I did use the pool, the indoor pool, I think twice as a guest. And um, I like being able to use the indoor pool um, during the height of the day so that I don't get sunburned. Um, but to be honest, this particular pool there, 
pool was not uh, very clean, the indoor pool. The outdoor pools are immaculately clean. And I'll show you that a little later. It's coming up soon. Um, but, you know, I think that's something easy to fix. It just needs to be brought to someone's attention so that they can fix that problem. They just need to shock the pool and brush it down. I used to have my own pool, so I, I maintained it myself, so I know it's doable. Um, so that lady is, I think, yeah, this is the area where the indoor pool is and the area where the fitness center is as well. So you need to have a card to enter. And she use her card and the door opens up. And you can see there's an outdoor pool as well and the area where you can sit and talk or eat. So I'm gonna show you the outdoor pool. There's another gate there. For residents to use their card to enter. There's covered areas for sitting. There's a bar and grill off the that's outdoors off the pool as well. And there's two pools, one's a lap pool. I think it's two pools, yeah. And then there's the indoor lap pool as well. And the area that's around the area towards the right side. But there's one, two, three, four, five, maybe about five lanes. Um, you can stand up in any part of the pool. It's, you know, if you're at least five feet tall, the, the most is four foot, one inch, I think is the deepest area of the pool and then above you can see that there's a walking track which I thought was pretty nice so you can walk indoors if you don't want to be exposed to the heat and the sun outdoors and the humidity there's a steam room here and a sauna both men and women's bathrooms have the, their own saunas and steam room and here's the fitness center it looks like relatively new equipment. And you see a bistro and bar. So this is where the restaurant is if you want to come and eat and drink. And some more wildlife. Look at that. An iguana. There it is again. I took three shots of it, I think. Okay, so if you're outdoors, eating or what have you, you may come across, but they, they don't, I, I, you know, nothing for you to be scared about. Lots of golf courses, uh, lots of golf carts, excuse me. I like getting around in a golf cart instead of driving a car. Okay, here are the pickleball courts. You see, they look different. There's the blue and the green. The green area on the court is the kitchen area or the no volley zone. And they have covered areas. Um, so there are actually 12 pickleball courts in Pelican Preserve. I did see two gentlemen um, playing pickleball or, or practicing pickleball here, but that was it. All the other courts, 11 courts, were empty when I did this video. And I didn't see anyone on the tennis courts. That's how hot it is and how desolate <laughs> the area is on off season. It's nice that they have covered areas for people to rest in between games and to uh, socialize. Very neat area. Some uh, communities have both tennis and pickleball on the same courts. They just have, you know, the lines to designate one or the other. These, this is nice that they have 
specifically designated courts for each. So permanently lined courts as opposed to, you know, combination courts, which gets more confusing um, when you're trying to read the lines. And also, you know, who takes precedence, precedence um, the tennis player, the pickleball player, you know, that way you don't have to worry about it. And they have the bathrooms for men and women, and they also have area for water. You can get ice or uh, cold water. There's the two gentlemen I was telling you about that can practice. You know, um, I don't know if one is an instructor or what. But they were getting their pickleball in. seem to be an office called the casita little house that's what that means in spanish i believe um but the, if you made it this far thanks for watching this long video hope you got value from it and if you did please like and subscribe thank you